Here's the situation. You've been transported back in time 2,000 years to the time of the cruel emperor, Brutus Maximus. You're one of 10,000 slaves who are going to be fed to the lions. You have only one chance of survival. The emperor needs one slave to become his mathematical scribe. To decide which slave lives, he sets a difficult multiplication problem. The slave that solves it first will be saved from the lions. But you have no calculator, no smartphone, no computer. What are you going to do? Call the multiplication guy. It's time to multiply with the multiplication guy. I'm going to show you an easy way to solve difficult multiplication problems. For example, 48 times 62. If you have a pen and a piece of paper, you can work along with me. The first thing you need to do is draw a box. Subdivide the box into two columns, because the first number, 48, has two digits. You also have to subdivide the box into two rows, because 62 has two digits. You end up with a box subdivided into four smaller boxes. Next, draw a diagonal line through each of the four small boxes. You might find you can draw a diagonal through more than one of the smaller boxes at a time. That's step one. Draw a box. Subdivide it into smaller boxes and draw diagonals through them. Next, write the first number, 48, along the top of the box, so each digit lines up with a column. Write 62 down the right-hand side of the box, so each digit lines up with a row. Now we're ready to do some multiplication and fill in the blanks with our answers. You'll need to know your times tables. If you're stuck, you can look up a multiplication chart. But you can't use a calculator, because there were none 2,000 years ago. I'm just going to start multiplying and show you how to fill in the blanks. Let's start with 8 times 6. That's 48. The 4 goes above the diagonal, and the 8 below. 8 times 2 is 16. Again, the 1 goes above the diagonal, and the 6 below. Now let's fill in the blanks in the other column. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 is less than 10, so this time put a 0 above the diagonal and the 8 below. That's step 2. Multiply and fill in the blanks with your answers. Finally, we're going to add up the numbers along the diagonals. I'll circle each diagonal and show you what I mean. The first diagonal only has one number, 6. So write 6 directly below the diagonal. The next diagonal has three numbers, 8, 1 and 8. 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 8 is 17. Write the 7 below the diagonal and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 4 is 9. This time, write 9 next to the diagonal. The last diagonal only has one number in it, the number 2. So write 2 next to the diagonal. Now, just read off the answer. 2, 9, 7, 6. 48 times 62 equals 2,976. I'm going to check the answer on my calculator, but I'm allowed to do that because I'm not a slave. 48 times 62 equals 2,976. So the answer's correct. That's why they call me the multiplication guy. <laughs>